Technically, tomatoes, like a Persicon esculentum, are a fruit, but the USDA considers this popular food to be nutritionally a vegetable. Tomatoes are an incredibly versatile food. Tomatoes are used in dishes all around the world. They are delicious eaten raw, and can be used as a paste, sauce, ketchup, in salads and in so many other ways. Tomatoes are such an important part of the American diet, that it's hard to believe that they were once considered toxic. It wasn't until the mid-1800s that they became a staple food in the US. In this video, we should focus a little more on some questions such as, are tomatoes good for diabetics? Can diabetics eat tomatoes? Do tomatoes raise blood sugar? Risks and side effects of eating tomatoes? Let's find out. Diet is an essential component of blood sugar management, so it's important to learn how specific foods affect your numbers. A food's carbohydrate content is closely linked to its blood sugar impact, and many vegetables, including tomatoes, are low enough in carbohydrates that they can be enjoyed without too much concern about portions. However, certain tomato products may have a more pronounced blood sugar impact. Tomato Nutrition Facts How many carbs are in tomatoes? How much sugar is in a tomato? Nutritionally, tomatoes are jam-packed with nutrients, and low in calories. Let's take a look at tomato nutrition data provided by the USDA. 1 medium red, ripe, raw tomato, approximately 123 grams, has about, 22.1 calories. 4.8 grams carbs. 1.1 grams protein. 0.2 gram fat. 1.5 grams fiber. Tomato nutrition also includes some vitamin E, niacin, pantothenic acid, choline, betaine, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, copper, potassium, and more. Not only is tomato nutrition low in calories, and a good source of vitamin C and vitamin K, but tomatoes also considered a high antioxidant food, and one of the best sources of the phytonutrient called lycopene. Glycemic Index of Tomatoes Foods with a GI score between 0 and 55 are low glycemic. Foods with a GI score between 56 and 69 are medium glycemic. Foods with a GI score between 70 and 100 are high glycemic. The GI of tomatoes is only 15, which is a low to very low score. In part, this is a result of the very high water content of the fruit, over 95% water, which leaves very little actual nutrition, carbs to be more exact, to fuel a rise in blood sugar. Are tomatoes good for diabetics? Can diabetics eat tomatoes? Tomatoes are considered a low GI food. This means that the tomato is digested and absorbed more slowly than high GI foods. Eating a tomato will raise blood sugar and insulin levels gradually rather than rapidly. Because of this, the tomato would be an appropriate vegetable to include in a low GI diet plan, which might be prescribed for someone who has diabetes, or difficulty controlling his weight. Of course, not everyone reacts the same way to the same food, or to the same amount of a food. With diabetes, it may be because of varying glucose tolerance levels, the way you pair your foods, portion size, frequency with which you eat a certain food, or an accumulation of different factors. This is why it may help to know that there are things you can do to further reduce the effects of a food on blood sugar. Do tomatoes raise blood sugar? Controlling your carbohydrate intake is a cornerstone of diabetes management, and carbohydrate counting is a common approach to diabetes meal planning. Because tomatoes are quite low glycemic, eating them even with diabetes, does not raise blood sugar levels too much, but rather produces a gradual rise, and helps with better blood sugar control. Tomatoes are nutritious and fairly low in carbohydrates, making this vegetable an easy food to fit into the diabetes meal plan. Can diabetics eat tomato sauce and tomato juice? Certain forms of tomatoes are more concentrated in carbohydrates, so more planning is needed to fit these foods into your plan. Tomato juice contains 10 grams of carbohydrate per 8 ounces or 1 cup, while tomato sauce has 14 grams of carbohydrate per 8 ounces. Tomato sauce and tomato juice can cause a slightly quicker rise in your blood sugar. Diabetics can still eat them so long as they are eaten in moderation. Avoid store-bought tomato sauce and tomato juice. 
They are unhealthy as they contain a ton of ingredients you don't want such as added sodium, sugar, unhealthy fats, and loads of preservatives. It's always better to make your own tomato sauce and tomato juice. You'll eat a much healthier meal, you won't add all the salt, sugar, and fat, and you know exactly what you're eating. What are the benefits of tomatoes for diabetes? Regular consumption of the fruit holds several benefits for both diabetes and general health. But the biggest health benefits of tomatoes for diabetes specifically include 1. Good source of potassium for lowering blood pressure High blood pressure is a common complication in diabetes, and getting enough potassium in the diet, or from dietary supplements, is essential for keeping blood pressure numbers within a healthy range. 2. Good for the cardiovascular system Cardiovascular health is an important aspect of diabetic health as the cardiovascular system is heavily affected in diabetes. Lycopene found in tomato help reduce cholesterol LDL cholesterol along with increasing its resistance to oxidation, which has the worst effect on cardiovascular health. Regular consumption actively contributes to better overall cardiovascular health. 3. Good for weight control and weight loss. Tomatoes are not just low, but very low in calories. The energy intake from tomatoes is so low that eating the botanical fruit regularly helps with weight control and possibly also weight loss. Furthermore, tomatoes are a modest source of fiber, low carb, low sugar, low fat and very high in water, further providing benefits for weight management, a big aspect of diabetic health. 4. Modest Vitamin C Content for Wound Healing Tissue damage is brought on by consistently and abnormally high levels of sugar in the blood, and results in poor wound healing and increased risks of infection, which are major concerns in diabetes. Vitamin C has scientifically recognized antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties, is proven to lower inflammation levels in the body and modulate the immune system response, being actively involved in advancing healing at a fast rate. How much tomatoes can a diabetic eat? When it comes to eating with and for diabetes, one of the most important things is to eat reasonable amounts of food, more exactly, only have small portions. This will help you avoid dietary excesses that could make carbs accumulate, and blood sugar go up fast as a result. The smaller the portion of a food, plant-based in this case, the less carbohydrates you get, and the lesser the effects on blood sugar. So with smaller portions comes a reduced glycemic impact which is something to aim for if you have diabetes. Even if a food is already low glycemic, like tomatoes which have a GI score of only 15, eating small amounts at once is recommended. Risks and Side Effects of Eating Tomatoes Are tomatoes ever bad for your health? Although tomatoes come loaded with benefits, keep in mind that they are a nightshade vegetable that can aggravate health conditions for some people. Green tomatoes contain a substance called solanine, which may be aggravating to people with conditions like arthritis, or some other autoimmune-related diseases. Nightshade vegetables are also somewhat of a common allergy. If you have acid reflux symptoms or stomach, joint or muscle pain frequently, laying off tomatoes might be smart to test your reaction. If you experience unexplained digestive issues that might suggest a possible food sensitivity, you can try doing an elimination diet that cuts out all nightshade vegetables, including all types of tomatoes, 